Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Brittany and today I'm going to show you guys a short video on normal things I always keep around the house, which are my Pop-Tarts, peanut butter, Cheez-Its, and my granola bars, right? So I decided to see, to see if the things I normally buy, which would be, you know, these items here, would normally cost me nine to ten dollars right two to two fifty per item i know my peanut butter is three dollars for sure so normally i would spend just say ten dollars on these four items but at the dollar tree i could get all four for four dollars and some change if you count tax right so i wanted to see would it be worth saving the six dollars on items that you normally buy or even if I, you know, don't like all of them, would it be worth saving $3 or, you know, vice versa, a dollar per thing? So I just wanted to try it out, see if you guys would like the video. Um, you know, I just wanted to see how it really would be. Hopefully we like them so we don't have to throw the food away. But if we don't, it was a dollar. Great experiment. Great to know if you would eat these things at the Dollar Tree normally. I normally don't get a lot of food from the Dollar Tree. I know I get my jasmine rice that comes in the um, healthy organic type bag, but that's really about it, you guys, that I ever buy from there. So I thought this would be a really good experiment for me, myself, as well as sharing, sharing it with you guys. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the um, Toastum Pop-Tarts and the name brand Pop-Tarts. So I have them out here. As you can tell, they look, you know, sort of the same. These are thinner than what these are, but they feel... I think they're I think they're the same size, but these are bigger if you guys look at the side packaging. So these are definitely, you know, more thicker than the than the Pop Tart brand. And I have to eat these. I have to warm them up. So of course I'm gonna warm them up in the um toaster oven so that way I can get the full effect exactly how I would eat them. Okay, so looking here at picture wise. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the um, Toastum brand is lighter color than what this than what the Pop Tart brand looks like. Um, but other than that, they look relatively the same. Um, definitely smaller. If you guys pull it up to there, it's definitely thicker. I don't know if that is the filling inside or if that's just how much you know bread tart that they used. So let me get these heated up and show you guys. All right, you guys, so they're heated up. I did put them in the microwave. I didn't feel like plugging in my toaster oven. Um, and I just broke this end here just in case. That way I would know for sure which one was which. Um, I heated it up for about 30 seconds to get them to the liking that I like. So the first one I think I'm going to try is the Pop-Tart brand. Because I, I already know what it tastes like. So I just want to make sure that I don't get it, you know, confused with this. Okay, so this definitely is like more cinnamony to me. So let me see what this tastes like. Okay, so I definitely don't like the Dollar Tree brand. This is more cinnamony. This one you can't taste at all until the very end. And it's just like a strong spice taste. And it's very dry. So it's definitely more tart, which is why they look bigger. It, it's very, it's just more tart and it's, <clears throat> it's very dry tasting. And then you get six compared to the eight. So I kind of think I would definitely stick to my Pop-Tart brand on this one. Um, yeah, my mouth is like super dry right now from eating this. I, I try to go back and just eat a piece in the middle just to make sure. Um, it's still, it's a lot of, a lot of the bread. It's, I don't know, it's not good. And then you can't taste it like whatsoever. Like it don't taste like cinnamon or nothing while you're eating it. It just tastes like bread and sugar. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Okay, so that, that the Toastum Dollar Tree brand is definitely a no for me, you guys. Um, I am recording it like this because I just don't want to, you know, the camera to be in my face while I'm tasting different things and stuff. So I do apologize. You know, I know some people when they do stuff like this, they, you know, they record themselves doing it. Um, I just don't feel comfortable with that. So I'm going to get something to drink, and then we're going to go and try something else. Okay, so I think what I'm going to try now is the blueberry. Let's 
also it definitely you know sort of looks the same it tells you what it is first off the bat except for the target brand tells you you know it's it's eight grams of whole grain no artificial flavors um i don't have the box but let me see if the back of these have the nutrients they do so and that's another thing i was gonna tell you guys so they're both 400 calories for the pop tarts but this one the dollar tree brand has 74 carbs versus the 65 carbs that the um pop tart brand has so it's definitely a lot more carbs but if you know your kids like them it ain't bad because they're gonna play all that off anyways so just think of it as if you're an adult and you don't get that much exercise that's a lot more carbs that you could take in somewhere else versus just eating one or two pop tarts okay so as far as the bars they're both 140 calories Everything looks relatively the same, and the carbs are exactly the same, so it looks it looks good, except for the Target brand says no artificial flavors or syn synthetic colors or anything like that, and this tells you it's artificially favorite, flavored. So that's something to think about, too. Um, so I'm going to start with the... Target brand again and just see what the difference they look like. Okay, so they're about the same size. As you can tell, the Dollar Tree one is, is a little thicker to me. It has more of the oaks on the top. Um, it definitely feels thicker. So this is the Dollar Tree brand. Sort of looks like, like a Fig Newton. And this is the Target brand. Now, if you can tell from the Target brand, you can actually tell that it's a blueberry in there. This really don't, it's just dark colored. It's It don't look very blueberry at all. So I don't know how that's going to be. But we'll try the Target one first. Okay, so just in that first bite with the Target brand, you can definitely taste like nothing but blueberry. Like, it's really blueberry, so if you're not a blueberry fan, I wouldn't recommend it. I love blueberry um, as far as, like, granola bars and stuff, so that's very good to me. Um, and these boxes, I think, are, like, two fifty a box. I normally get them on sale, like, two for five or, I mean, two for four, so regular price, they're two fifty. Um, I really love this. It's, it's very, it has a very, very strong taste of the blueberry. And like I said, you guys, you can definitely see that it's blueberry in there. And just from off the ingredients and stuff, I would think I would still go with this because it don't have any artificial flavorings, colors, or anything versus the Dollar Tree brand. But if I'm on a budget, you know, and I may want to give this a try, so let's try this out today and see what it tastes like. Okay, so, again, you can't taste it. All I taste is bread. It's like, it's, they make it thick to make it look like that's how big the filling is, but it's really not, like, it's, it's really all bread. So, another downfall for Dollar Tree, I don't think I would get their granola bars again. Of course, we probably will eat them or give them away, um, or something like that. They're good until December, but as far as me eating them... I don't know. But if it was my last choice on earth and it was like end of the world and I needed some granola bars, I would probably eat it then, you guys. But as far as right now, as long as they're making granola bars, I definitely would not lean towards that way. Um, yeah, it's it's just all bread. It's, it's, it's very unsettling to have that much bread in there and not be able to taste the actual, you know, blueberry flavoring when that's what you're buying it for. So, okay. Let's try, let's try the Cheez-Its now. So I've already opened my regular Cheez-Its. They've been in my fridge. As I said, I keep them in the fridge. Some people think I'm weird when I do it, especially my 10-year-old niece. She's like, ew, why are they in the fridge? But they taste better to me that way. So looking off of it, 150 calories per box. Carbohydrates are 17 for the Cheez-It brand and 18 for the Dollar General brand. So everything else looks revelatory the same. Except for the saturated fat is more in Cheez-It than in the Dollar Tree brand. So 8% on the Cheez-Its, 
4% on the regular. So I guess that's something to think about as well. Um, but definitely, you, you know, it's, it's still basically the same. Okay, so they both say they're real cheese, naturally flavored, you know, nothing artificial or anything about it. Um, the Dollar Tree brand don't really smell like cheese. It don't smell like anything. Uh, the cheese at brand right here does smell like, you know, you can tell it's actual cheese. So I'm going to try two of each just to get an actual flavor. Okay, so... Again, I don't taste cheese. And they're very salty. Now I'm going to try the Cheez-It brand. Okay, so the Cheez-It brand is more salty than the Dollar Tree brand. But you just can't taste the cheese in here. So with this, you can taste the cheese as well as the salt. Um, here, you just taste the salt. And then if you look... They're a lot thinner. So this one right here is the Dollar Tree brand. The one on top. It's a lot. See if I can get it to focus. So it's a lot thinner. And dense when you taste it. So. It's like you go right into a. Like an overcooked cookie or something. I don't know how to explain it. It's not bad though. I think I would try them. Like, I think I would eat them. Just to have, like, a nice airy feel. Because these, the cheese it brand on the, on the original are really salty. Now, the white cheddar isn't salty. But the cheese it brand is really, really salty to me. I've never been able to eat, like, just non-stop cheese its because how salty they are. So, I definitely think, I definitely would go back for the Dollar Tree cheese its Like, I'm going to go get some more. Yeah. I'm definitely going to get some more of those Cheez-Its. So, so far, out of three items, I'll definitely go and get one more. Um, Because I just ate another Cheez-It and it's so salty compared to this. Like, this is all you've ever known is Cheez-It brand and you're like, okay, we just got to deal with the salt flavor. But then when you eat it compared to this, it's like, you can really taste the difference. So, yeah, definitely going to get the Dollar Tree brand on Cheez-Its. It's it's salty, but it's not it's not as bad as this, you guys. And I think that's where maybe like that extra sodium and fat and everything comes from is all that extra salt. I don't know why they put so much salt in those. Like maybe they should offer you like a salt free option because I feel like that would be good. Um, and it's never bothered me before because that's what I'm used to. But when you eat it compared to the Dollar Tree brand, you can really really taste it, and it makes you just want to go back and eat these because. These are tolerable compared to the other one. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to try is the peanut butter. And I have the Peter Pan creamy all natural peanut butter versus the Dollar Tree creamy peanut butter. And I don't know, like I'm, I'm trying to like really think that I'm going to like this. Just to be optimistic, but I'm a very much peanut butter lover. So I'm, I'm that type of person that I'm going to be able to tell if peanut butter is good or not. Okay, so off the bat, it don't smell peanut buttery. It smells like straight peanuts versus the Peter Pan brand. It, I don't know, it's... It's hard to explain. Okay, so I just stirred my peanut butter around in my Peter Pan thing. I, I am using a fork, you guys, but that's because it had that, um, you know how the liquid will form to the top on the creamy. So it's definitely creamy. Oh, wait, hold on. Holding it sideways. If you guys can look in there, it's definitely creamy. It moves around a lot more. It definitely is what it says it is, you know. Versus this is just more of like a spread than creamy okay so I think I'm gonna go in with the Dollar Tree first I'm gonna do an actual bite like I could eat peanut butter out the jar I have done it I do do it so this you know this is gonna be my best way to taste it and see how it really tastes like 
and it's just it don't it's dense it's even stirring it it don't y'all it smells like cardboard and peanuts okay so we're gonna try it oh my god it has no taste oh it's so bad oh it's so bad I'm definitely. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that on camera. It is so bad, you guys. Um, it tastes burnt, like they use. It tastes like they use burnt peanuts. That's all I can say. Okay, easy way to describe it. You go to a steakhouse, they have the peanuts there, you're peeling and you eat it and you realize you bit into a burnt one. That's that peanut butter. You just, it's like they took all the burnt ones and made peanut butter. Oh my God, it's so bad. So let me see, like, so it's 200 calories for this, 210 for the Peter Pan. Everything looks the same, same card, six grams, so everything's the same, but that is just, that is just bad. So I'm just going to taste the Peter Pan now. As you can tell, it's still very creamy. Yeah, it definitely tastes like peanut butter. But I don't know, you guys. I don't, I don't know how to describe that peanut butter from Dollar Tree. Please do not buy it unless you absolutely have to. I don't even think I would buy it then. I think I would like be okay with no peanut butter for the rest of my life. That is so bad. Okay, so I was gonna try this brand of noodles that I found there, but I realized I kept looking at them and was like, I saw them somewhere else. And they sell them at Walmart and Target and not Target, Walmart and like Albertsons and Kroger's. So it's just like, it's a name brand. It's just at all stores. They're a dollar. 25 at Walmart and a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So I'm not going to include that in today's video. Um, my stomach hurts now. So I'm going to get all this picked up. The only thing I would recommend to you guys to try the Dollar General, the Dollar Tree is the Cheez Its. Everything else is no flavor on this. Definitely no flavor on the Pop Tarts. This has flavor, but it is the disgusting. Oh, it's so bad. Like, my stomach hurts so bad right now. So, yeah. <laughs> That's everything for the day, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be looking to do more like this to see what I can get from the Dollar Tree versus the store. And just see, is your money worth it? So, right here, it looks like I can save $1.50 if I get these. But I'm going to stick with the price on everything else for now. Um... Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you definitely want to see more videos about Dollar General, Dollar Tree items and is it worth it, please like and subscribe here because you're going to have more coming your way. Uh, probably another one this week. I was going to go and see about it. What else I can find. Um, I'm maybe going to look into the freezer department to see what that tastes is like and see what I can dabble in and what they have here at my local Dollar Tree. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more, you guys. And thank you so much for who is watching. I appreciate you all. And I will see you guys on the next video.